Hey guys, I want to do a really quick video here. Um, I am working on my wisdom spread for the week um, on Chasing Wisdom. So I've got some paint here and I'm getting some flowers up in her hair. And I've got down here um, some flowers down around her that they're at the base of the neck. Um, for they are graceful garland for your head and pendants for your neck. So, um, and that's what wisdom is. So I'm kind of laying that in, but I've got to go. So I've got to go skadoodle out the door. So here, let me just get this. Oh, I'm so sorry, out of the way. Um, so what I wanted to show you was my setup. So hold on, here's hoping this works before I just tried to do it and I just messed to drop the whole phone. So over here, you can see um, what I've got. I've got some extra paint here, some gesso, and um, here, these are my, uh, this is my Salt Lake box. So what it is, I don't know how to get it in here for you, is I've just got a whole bunch of stuff in here. So these are leaks that have got one side done, but there's nothing on the back. So I just keep them in here. They don't come out of here until they are all done. So I've got cards in here. Then I've got, these all, you know, are kind of in various states of readiness. It's a hotel card. So you see how they're just all sort of, these are all ready to be done. These are cards that I've collected. These, I don't even know. Look at how gorgy, gorgy those are. So thick and lovely. So those um, will still get done. Here are pieces of cardboard that I've got. More cardboard. These ones are in various state of doneness, but I've got my back there because that still needs a something. So, um... See, now I don't think that's pretty yet. That's got some extra paint on it, but I wouldn't say that it's done yet. It can still take more paint. So I've got them the side that I want to continue adding um, color onto. So that one I probably would say could kind of get going. But see, I just think that needs just a little bit more splash of something, something. So I leave them in here, and then I'm constantly just grabbing out of my little box of goodies um, to, so that I can do something else on them. So here, I'm just going to show you something quick that I'm going to do. So I showed you that I've got this little bit of extra paint over here. So I'm not even going to wash my brushes. I'm just going to come in. I have some pink. I'm going to show you quick how I do the flower. So because I don't, all I've got are pinks, purple, and a little bit of white. So that's what we're going to go with. So I'm going to paint on, this is just with the gesso. Remember I told you that I love me some gesso. So here I'm just getting a great big round um, circle. As if there could be a square circle. Oh, stop it. Work. I'll be here all week. Okay, so here just, and that will start to show through because my gesso is very, very cheap and it just does that to me. Okay, so I've got that going. Now I've got this pink is uh, just, it's a fully loaded brush and ready to go. So I'm just going to come in and just do some great big leaves. Great big leaves. I'm now I'm mixing my pink, my purple. My brush has got pinks, all the purples. I'm just using all the colors that I have and just putting them on my brush. I'm using up every little square inch that I've got left. Okay, so I think that's all I've got. So just going to wipe my brush off, not, not even using water. Um, then I have this little bit of cream left. So I see it's not it's that little bit of a cream that doesn't even drop in. Okay, so now I've got this kind of going on, but I would not call it done or finished in any way. So here, let me uh, come in with, I'm just going to clear up all the paint that I have Clean up my palette a little bit before it dries out. Okay, so then I'm going to come in with, oh, let's see, green would just be like to die for on there because it's so, it's all in those blues. Even the pink has got a lot of blue in it. So here I'm going to come in, I'm just going to do a little kapow, 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 kapow. 
pal. Come on, pal. Here. So you see, I don't have any sort of rhyme or reason. I just play as I'm going along. Because I don't want the pink petal to fade into the background so much. Of course, I could have picked a different card, but hey, you know. So there. So that's starting to look more exciting and energetic. So I don't like how that's just all blending away. So I'm... See him go all the way down and then coming up. Okay, so fun, right? Now I know that that white is just crazy white there, right smack dab in the middle, right? I know, say no more. We're gonna handle that situation right now. So here I've got some sort of a blue. So I'm just gonna come in with the back and I'm gonna plop in some dots ah, see I smudged it you know what it's so okay it's all good so here because you know if I had patience I would wait for any one of these layers to dry before I kept going but we know me and patience it is not a match made in heaven so we press on. I'm just going to try to get a little bit more in there to give it sort of a more rounded feel on one side. Okay, okay. And then I'm going to bring in, so now you know that I sort of messed up and I put that right there. So I'm going to bring in some dots over here. I'm gonna bring in, you know, I'm always doing dots. I'm gonna put, I'm always gonna stay on the same side of the petal, so I'm gonna put some dots in over here. I'm gonna put some dots in over here. Um, so, and then we could do, I see I'm not even cleaning my brush, I could do a blue stem, because why could you not have a blue stem? you could have a blue stem and then I think I've got my brush flattened out so that it is um, just do like that one more time like that and then it gets very gets a hard edge on it so then I'm just gonna come in and do you ready um, like this see how I can get a straight line because I've got my brush kind of smooshed out So here, I think I might just put in a little bit of the blue on each side, just because that petal is really kind of disappearing into the uh, the background there. Okay, so I would come back in on that, and um, I would put in some um, extra uh, markers and stuff as that dries out, but um, that is the beginning of a fun little salt leak. I will let it dry now. So that's how I do my salt leaks. Thanks guys. Bye.